Today we're giving you solutions to stop your most aggravating body problems. And our next guest is reminded of her problem every time she eats. In 2001, I had to have my left parotid gland removed. A few years after the surgery, I realized I would start to sweat on the left side of my face when I would eat. They cut along here for my surgery, and that's exactly where I sweat. Living with this condition is annoying and embarrassing, especially eating around people you don't know. I try to cover it with my hair. I try to be discreet by just dabbing it with a napkin when I eat. I'm hoping the doctors will help me find a solution for this so I don't have to be embarrassed when I eat and I can live a normal life. <laughs> Rochelle is here with us today, and Dr. Worden, it looks like you've already prepped the side of her face. We have, and what we're doing is an iodine starch test, which is going to show that she has this particular problem. Which, you, which is called Fry syndrome. Fry syndrome. And in most people like Rochelle, it started with a parotidectomy. And what happens is that when Rochelle tastes, eats, chews, instead of forming saliva, she sweats and turns red on the side of her face. Because okay? the nerves are innervating the wrong thing. So well, are we gonna have Rochelle eat some food then? We are. We're giving her things, eat are away. Okay with the lemon? We, we really want to stimulate her saliva, or at least the response to form saliva, as much as we can. This isn't painful at all, right? It's, it's really just when you eat, you start sweating. Right, it's, an, it's annoying and embarrassing. Okay. All right, so let me show you exactly what happens with this, with this animation, both of you. So normally when you chew, what happens through sensory fibers, you're, you're stimulating your salivary glands to produce saliva, right? In this case, this gentleman has developed a parotid mass. So he needs to have his parotid gland removed, a superficial parotidectomy, okay? So here's an incision, similar to a facelift incision, you elevate the skin, have removed part of that parotid gland, but what happens? Those nerves are now exposed. Those nerves that typically stimulate the formation of saliva are now have grown in in contact with your sweat glands. So instead of forming saliva, you're forming the sweat. It took a while after the procedure that you started to develop the sweating, right? Because right. it was over time that the nerves started sending the wrong impulses. And how is our response doing? Now what I first, okay, we're getting a positive. Do you see this? We first apply the iodine. We then let that dry. We apply starch over that. And what happens, perspiration, the sweat produced by those glands is going to come through in the form of iodine. You're gonna get a dark patch coming through the, uh, the white starch. And you're already starting to see that there, right? Does everyone see that, how the iodine is turning really dark here? That is a positive iodine starch test. She has, the big medical term is gustatory Sweating. But what right. Rochelle's, of course, thinking is, that's fine and dandy, but what can I do about it? Okay, well, you know, there's, there's a number of medications you can do to cut down the sweating process. You can use antiperspirants, just like you use them in other parts of the body. There's a surgical option, and let me show you how that works. Basically, what you're doing in, in a surgical operation you're reopening that incision site and you're covering either with, with dermis or with fascia that interface between the skin and those exposed nerves that are going to those sweat glands causing the problem. But there's one newer option out there and that's Botox. Just like we've talked about using Botox to stop excessive sweating in the armpits, on the palms, the bottom of your feet, an injection of Botox into a shell's cheek is also going to decrease that sweating. So that, will is, that, that won't affect her smile at all if you inject Botox in that area? No. It will not change the way is, she is moves her face. Is that something that would interest you? Absolutely. Would you try that? Yes. You want to do it today? Yes. Oh, my. I just happened to bring my Botox today. Thank you so much.